common mistakes while suturing using the needle holder. First common mistake is making the free end too long. Uh, and the second mistake is holding at the base instead of the tip. And when they hold the base, they will struggle. This is the second mistake. And the third mistake that they do not change the direction of the free end. They bring it toward one side and the other one toward that side and they continue. In this they will get inappropriate knot. The fourth common mistake which is usually confusing that they forget whether they have started from inside or from outside because if they have started the first knot from inside from inside I mean between these two loops between these two loops they have started from inside they have to continue the other knot from inside and if they have started from outside they have to continue from outside to, to get square knot and to avoid a granny knot I will show you examples for this one first I will do from inside here from inside and the other one from inside here we get we have the square knot and I will show you another time if I have started from outside from outside bring it to that side and from outside this is also square knot two inside two inside and two outside this is square knot what is the mistake that some they start from inside and they continue from outside like this they first starting from inside and instead of coming inside they come from outside and they will get the granny knot which is one inside, one outside, one inside, and one outside. These are the four common mistakes regarding the tying by, by the needle holder. First mistake is making it too long, and the second mistake holding the base, and the third mistake bringing the free end toward only one direction, and the fourth mistake uh, they forget that they have started the first knot with it from inside or from outside. And thank you.